In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a basic reference into a Word document. This is a really useful little tip that you can use just to save yourself a bit of time when you're doing referencing for academic writing or any kind of essays that you might need to reference. Using this tool, you can actually create the references that go within the body of the text, and then you can also create a bibliography from those, which saves you an awful lot of, the time, of time at the end of an essay. So from here, you can see that I've opened up the references tab. You then put your cursor wherever you'd want the reference to go in. So I have a piece of text here that I'm now going to reference from the book, Losing Small Walls. So up here, I go to insert citation. So I left click on there and then I click add new source. And then within this window, I fill in the various bits of information that are needed. As I click within each one of these fields, you can actually see at the bottom here, that it, it shows me the format in which they need to be filled in. So for year it shows you, you know, you want, uh, you want that written in numbers, city, it's, it suggests Chicago, obviously that's going to be dependent on where it's published. For the author here, you can see that we want the surname first, a comma, followed by the first name if required, and then we have semicolon separating multiple authors if required. So I'll put the author in, and then we'll put the title in. The year the book was published, the city that it was published in, the publisher and since there is no edition for this book then we'll leave that one blank we can if we want click show all bibliography fields and you can put in much more information see here we've got lots and lots of fields that you can use uh, and we also have here um, the option to change the type of source that we want so you can click here and actually choose if it's a different kind of source these are useful for obviously referencing different kinds of materials and the show all bibliography fields is useful if you want to add additional information perhaps your university or your lecturer um, is requesting specific sorts of information uh, in different kinds of references that maybe isn't in this format so you can use that that button there once you've done that once you've filled out those fields you just click ok and then inserts the reference there if you want to alter the reference you can see that you can hover over it left click here and we can edit it or you can go up to the top and click manage sources from there, you can choose different sources. On the left, it shows you previous sources that you've used at any point whilst you've been using Word. So you can actually go back and find things that you've referenced in the past, which can be very helpful. Once you've got your, your citation in there, you can then create a bibliography from it. So up at the top here again, in the citations and bibliography section, you click bibliography, and then choose the kind of bibliography you would like. So I'll just choose the top one there, click that, and that has now inserted for me a reference at the end of my document in the bibliography. And the more you uh, the more you put in, the more that you'll get. So you can end up with it generating, you know, as many as you require. You can click on this as well, and you can see here we can do update citations of bibliography. So if, if I were to add more citations in all the way through, they would appear in uh, as references in the end uh, at the end of my document in my bibliography. You can also change the sort of reference style that you want. So there's a variety of different ones here. I tend to stick with Harvard, but just go with whatever um, you're comfortable with or whatever is required by your, your, your university. Once you've got the basic information in there, you can actually add a bit more detail. So uh, I'll just show you how to do that. So we've got the basic citation here. And if I click on my citation options and then click on edit citation, you can see that it gives me the option to add things like my page number in. So if I were to do that now, that would work. So pop that in, click OK. You see now that's been added to the reference. Very, very easy to do, very quick to do. And again, just a, a nice little tool that you can use to help you with uh, with your referencing as you're going along. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions or have any issues in terms of using this, please feel free to come and speak to me and uh, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to walk you through it. Bye.